You found it. You found the right video to prepare you for your interview that's coming up. My name is Irvin, also known as Kobo Man. I have 20 years of experience in IT, and I promise you this video will prepare you step by step on how to ace this interview. It's not very complicated. All you have to do is just have all the information you need in one place, and this video will have all of this. It will set your mind at ease so you don't have to worry about your interview that's coming up. Once you go through this and you watch this possibly multiple times, then you can relax, get some sleep before you go for this interview, knowing that you are prepared. Welcome to top 20 desktop support interview questions and answers. This guide highlights key desktop support interview questions covering technical troubleshooting, system management, and user support with concise answers to help you excel in your interview, basically to help you get a job. If you like this type of video, please take time to like, comment, and also check out the links in the description of the video to help you prepare for an interview. The best way to practice along this video is to pause after each question comes up in this video. Say the answers out loud or in your head so that way you practice for the interview. I promise you this is the best way to go about it. We will start this guide with general questions. First question is, can you explain your experience in desktop support? So this is something that will pretty much always come up on any interview. And the answer to that is to highlight relevant roles, tasks, and technologies such as troubleshooting, hardware, software issues, installing operating systems, and supporting end users. So talk about all of these things that you have experience with that is specific to desktop support roles. Question number two, what is the primary role of desktop support professional? So to answer this, uh, make sure you specify that desktop support is about ensuring that end users can effectively use their workstation by providing troubleshooting, hardware or software issues, setting up their systems and providing just general tech support for those users. Moving on to technical questions. Question number three. What steps do you take when a user's computer won't turn on? So this is a simple question which requires a simple answer. And the answer is check the power connections and ensure the power button is working. Test the power supply with another outlet and inspect for hardware issues like faulty power supply or motherboard. Question number four, how would you resolve a slow running computer? Answer is to check for background processes using Task Manager. You can also clear temporary files and browser cache. You can also run malware or virus scan to ensure that system is updated. Upgrade hardware like RAM or the hard drive if necessary. Question number five. What is the difference between a workgroup and a domain? Answer to this is that workgroup is a peer-to-peer -peer network where each computer manages its own resources. A domain is a centralized network managed by a server for user authentication and resource access. Question number six, how do you troubleshoot a printer that isn't working? To troubleshoot this, check for power and connectivity, ensure the printer has paper and ink or toner, restart the print spooler service and verify the correct driver is installed. Here are some scenario based questions. Question number seven, a user reports they can't connect to the internet. How do you troubleshoot this issue? The answer is check if the device is connected to Wi-Fi or ethernet ping a website or an IP to confirm connectivity, restart the modem or router and the computer, and then lastly, verify network settings like IP address and DNS configuration. Question number eight. How would you handle a situation where an employee is frustrated due to persistent issue? So to answer this, you would say, listen attentively, emphasize, explain the steps you're taking, and provide regular updates until the issue is resolved. 
Now we have some behavioral questions. Question number nine. Describe a time when you solved a complex technical issue. So to answer this properly, you need to provide a star response. Basically what that means, it's a situation, task, action, and a result focusing on the tools you've used, steps you took, and the outcome. Question number 10. How do you prioritize multiple support tickets? To answer this, you need to assess the impact and urgency of each issue, addressing high priority tasks first and communicate timelines to all users. Now we have some knowledge based questions. Question number 11. What is Active Directory and how you use it? Answer is Active Directory is a Microsoft service for managing users access and security across a network. You can mention tasks like resetting passwords, creating user accounts, and managing group policies. Question number 12. What is the blue screen of death, also known as BSOD, and how do you resolve it? BSOD is a critical error caused by hardware or driver issues. Steps include noting the error code, booting into the safe mode, updating or rolling back drivers, or you can also run hardware diagnostics to resolve these issues. By the way, I have a newly released video on how to troubleshoot blue screen of death. So if you want to check that out, there's a link that just came up on the right hand side. Question number 13. How do you handle a virus or a malware infection on a computer? So to answer this, you need to specify that the system needs to be isolated from the network. You also need to run a full scan with updated antivirus software. You also need to remove or quarantine malicious files. And you also need to educate the user on safe practices. Now we have tools and technologies as part of the questions and answers. Question number 14. What remote desktop tools have you used and how do they help? Mention tools like TeamViewer, AnyDesk, or Microsoft Remote Desktop explain their role in remotely accessing and troubleshooting systems. Question number 15. What are common shortcuts and commands in Windows troubleshooting? Some examples of this are Control Shift plus Escape, which opens the Task Manager, Windows Key plus R opens Run Dialog, Command Line SFC forward slash Scan Now checks the system files, and then lastly IP Config forward slash All, which views network configuration. Moving on to some hardware knowledge interview questions and answers. Number 16, how do you replace a faulty hard drive in a desktop? First step is to power off and unplug the system, open the case and disconnect the old hard drive, install the new drive, connect the cables and make sure it's secured, and then reinstall the operating system and restore backups. Question number 17, what is the difference between solid state drive and a hard drive? SSD is faster, more durable, and uses flash memory. Hard drive is cheaper with higher storage capacity, but slower. Here we have some soft skills questions. Number 18, how do you explain technical terms to non-technical users? To answer this, say that you would use simple language, analogies, and visuals focusing on how, to, so how the solution impacts their work. Question number 19, how do you handle a situation where you can't resolve an issue immediately? The answer is communicate the delay to the user, escalate the issue if needed, and provide regular updates. Now for the last question, this is technically a performance-driven question, 
So for question number 20, how do you ensure that systems remain secure and up to date? The answer to this is you have to emphasize that applying regular software and OS updates is important, monitoring for vulnerabilities, and then enforcing strong passwords and educate users on security practices. Now, to ensure that you do well in this interview, you need to mentally prepare for these type of questions with specific examples from your experience that will help demonstrate your technical skills and problem-solving abilities. Real examples that you have in your mind is something you might want to concentrate on. I wish you best of luck and I hope you get this job. Please take time to like and comment on this video if this video is helpful to you. Also check out the links on the first comment that is pinned and also in the description of this video to help you further increase your chances of getting this job. Take care, have a blessed day, bye bye.